Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn layer effects and styles in Adobe Photoshop. In the previous section, we have discussed the layers in Photoshop. We can style our layers and apply a several effect to make our work attractive. We can apply a different types of effect such as bevel and emboss, drop shadow, glows, stroke, etc. Now friends, a layer style is simply one or a more layer effect and a blending option apply to a layer. Layer effects are things like a different different effects on a layers. Now with the right knowledge and experience, any effect can be achieved. Whether it is a Photoshop metal layer style, a Photoshop glass layer style, a Photoshop cartoon layer style or even a Photoshop gold layer style. You can quickly bring your artwork to the next level in a matter of minutes. Now to achieve a this kind of effect, however, you need to understand what each setting does to and how they can be combined to achieve a certain look. And for that, you need to work on each tool and its properties. There are two main ways to apply a layer style. Now method one is using a preset. Now for that, I am just creating a one document file new okay and i'm just you method one so method one is using a preset now what is a preset now preset is a by default apply some styles and effect that you just click on it and it will be apply automatically on your layer so i'm just clicking one method one and here i am just creating one text okay this text we will learn in our upcoming video in detail for now just using this preset i am creating one text here i am writing method one it will not see because that color should be also black just double click on the thumbnail okay and you can change your text color from here i am just making it white changing text size to 72 okay and everything will be okay from here you can uh, change your font style font size okay here you can change your uh, alignment like center text you want a left alignment right alignment from here you can change a text these all th things will be learned in our upcoming video for now we are just using this for our preset fine okay guys so this is a method one now how you can using a preset by default preset so for that you need to go to a windows and here you can see a style the style is by default preset in adobe photoshop okay just click here so it will be enabled here now as you can see these all are preset just click any of these and you can see okay it will be applied to your text so guys as you can see it applied automatically so you can change like this and you can apply a different different text effect see there are a uh, lots of styles over here just click here and it will be changed automatically so these all are a style by default creating foreign presets you can also see from here So you can see it automatically apply to your layer. The first time you click through and load each preset, you should experience an overwhelming feeling of happiness as you begin to understand all the potential that layer should hold. So this kind of effect you can apply from the style. Now guys, now we move to our method two, which is starting from the scratch. This all effect you can create by yourself according to your requirement so method 2 is starting from the scratch now for that i am one again creating one new document i am call this method 2 okay and i am just pressing okay now this is my a black background if i want a white background what you can do while you can creating your new document just select a color okay i am showing you how okay create a new here i am writing method 2 and here you can have an option background contains black white any color you can select from here or you can also choose from this i'm just selecting the white so the new document come with the white background 
now friends I'm just adding one text here I'm just uh, name it like method 2 okay so this is my text fine now here I'm going to apply some effect over here so guys to apply the effect you can right click on here and here you can see a blending option if you click the blending option then the layer style box would be come and from here you can apply a different different layer style and the next way is just double click on this layer how you can do it just double click over here not to the text if you double click on the text then it will become to rename the layer so make sure you click on this area not on the text so I'm just double click on here so my blending option or you can say a layer style is coming so guys now we are going to see one by one how this layer style is using so I am just adjusting my screen like this so you can see the different different preview now guys this is a layer style if you can't see the screen properly then you can also see the effect over here if you enable the preview then the pre can see the preview on my screen or otherwise if you off this preview then you can see the result after pressing the ok so always make sure you on your preview I'm just showing you how I'm first time apply the bevel and emboss and drop shadow okay if my preview is off then you can't see the preview on your document so make sure your preview is on otherwise you can also change your pre or else you can also see your preview in this thumbnail mode as you can see see it will be changing the drop shadow so it is a thumbnail view you can also see your effect over here now guys first I am showing you bevel and emboss just click on the bevel and emboss and it will be applied okay you can change a different different style if you want a outer bevel just click on the outer bevel and from here you can add a depth how much depth you want okay you can change the size you can make it a soften how much soften you want like this you can also apply some shading okay so this is a bevel and emboss now next is stroke okay you can apply a different colors of stroke on your text or layer so for now I am just off this blending option and we are focusing on stroke so for now stroke size is black that's why you can't see a changes in your text so for that I am just changing my stroke color to this color okay little bit of this now as you can see the stroke okay first is stroke size from here you can increase or decrease your stroke size okay you can also change the position of your stroke by here now right now my stroke is outside of your text you can also did inside of your text you can also did center of your text fine so you can also change the position of your text so right now I'm just doing outside now next is blending mode you can apply a different different blending mode to your stroke now next is opacity sometimes you want a light opacity to your stroke so you can also decrease the opacity see this is look very good compared to this 100 opacity so you can just decrease a little bit according to your requirement okay now the fill type right now we are just applying a one solid color to our stroke you can also apply a gradient as well as pattern to your stroke just press the gradient and you can apply a gradient to your text or you can apply a gradient to your layers same as you can also apply a different different pattern to your text just click here and you can apply a different different patterns just click this, so it will be apply this uh, opacity will be 100 so you can you can see the pattern okay so like this so guys you have to check all the layer styles one by one and see what happened to your layer if you're applying a different different style these all are different different style so just go through one by one and check what happened if you're applying this style 
सो गाइज नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज आउटर ग्लो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस आउटर ग्लो ओके एंड यू कैन सी द रेड ग्लो इज अप्लाई टू अवर टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन चेंज द ग्लो ऑफ दिस कलर बाई एनी कलर यू वॉन्ट लाइक दिस और यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाई अ ग्रेडियंट कलर टू योर ग्लो सो फर्स्ट इज यू कैन अप्लाई अ ब्लैंड मोड टू योर ग्लो यू कैन इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज द ओपासिटी ऑफ योर आउटर ग्लो ओके यू कैन एड सम नॉइज टू योर ग्लो राइट यू कैन अप्लाई अ टेक्निक लाइक यू वॉन्ट अ सॉफ्टर ग्लो और यू वॉन्ट अ प्रिसाइज ग्लो यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज द स्प्रेड ऑप्शन ओके हाउ मच स्प्रेड यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज द साइज ऑफ योर ग्लो here you can change the size okay so after this you want to make it reset you don't want these things or maybe you are a uh, clutter with all this effect then just make it reset to default so it will be come to default or you can just make a default right the last option i'm showing you is a drop shadow now drop shadow is also very important you can use this in a various way so right now i am enable my drop shadow here we have a blend mode you can apply a different different blend mode on your text now next is a op opacity you can apply an opacity to your shadow the next is angle as you can see my drop shadow angle is right now on 135 degree you can also change the degree of your drop shadow normally the drop shadow is look like this but the distance is too much so you can also decrease the distance by here okay just decrease the distance okay now it's look like a good but still you can have a some different option like you can increase the spread okay i don't want much spread like this only okay you can also increase and decrease the size see you can increase and decrease the size of your glow okay now it's look good Okay, you can also add some noise effects. This noise effects not look exactly, but for some reason you can use it as a requirement. Fine. So guys, this is a layer style. So just go through one by one, check each and every option. Go to bevel and emboss. See each and every change the numbers, change that these all the numbers and see what happened with this. okay see all these things and check it out what uh, you can create by yourself okay guys thank you so much see you in the next video